Well, hello. Today is Monday, November 22nd. It's time for our weekly meeting highlights. And uh, so let's see, we'll start off right away with how I did this week. So let's take a look. Stayed the same, uh, 228.8. I think it's a 75.4, I think, total loss. I'll take it. I've had two weeks in a row that I had really good losses. So in the last two weigh-ins, I've lost a total of 6.6 .6 pounds. So staying the same today is fine with me. My record in the past has been after I've had tremendous losses like that, that I kind of go crazy and then um, go off my plan and then I gain back almost what I lost in the previous weeks. I'm not going to do that anymore. So I'm still firmly in the 20s. That's what I wanted. Uh, Thanksgiving's this week. My my goal is to have another stay the same next week. I'm going to enjoy Thanksgiving. I am going to uh, not go crazy. I'm going to remember that it's just one day and I'm going to plan for it by staying on track Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, enjoying myself on Thursday, and then right back on track Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'll have a decent way in next Monday. That's my that's my plan. That's my goal. That's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, uh, this week it's get to know your zero heroes. Uh, our WW zero is far from nothing. Your zero point foods are everything and here's why. They can help you reach your goals. Uh, they did clinical trials and it showed that you can still uh, eat a lot of zero point foods without uh, weighing, tracking, or measuring them and you can still lose weight. I tend to somewhat agree with that, but in the back of my mind, I'm still doing a little bit of calorie counting. I love hard boiled eggs. I could very easily eat three or four in a day. I really could. I could eat two at breakfast, two at lunch. I could very easily do that. But they're like, I think like 80 calories. So that's an extra 300 calories just on eggs. So I have to reel it in and realize I've had way more vegetables in the last couple of weeks. And I think that attributed to my loss. When I look back at my tracker this morning, I saw that I didn't eat as many vegetables this week as I had eaten in the previous two weeks. So that kind of plays into it a little bit too. And also the zero point foods are good for you, depending on what you choose, avocados, pasta, popcorn, yogurt. They're all delicious and nutritious, but they just, um, the, they're on the World Health Organization guidelines also. Uh, I chose for my zero point foods, uh, oatmeal and chicken and fish and eggs. And then obviously fruits and vegetables, which works for me. So uh, I'm not gonna change them up. And you know what, they're versatile. You can change them up different ways to have them on your meals, uh, to do it a little bit different. Uh, I have a, uh, like I like to make an egg salad sandwich. I'm a little bummed because my Miracle Whip went up from two points for a tablespoon to three. But the bread I use is only one point a slice, so it's two slices and then my eggs are basically zero. So my sandwich is like five points, which for a good hearty egg salad sandwich, I think that's not a bad, that's not bad. For five points, I can handle that. So forget zero equally nothing. On WW, zero point foods are everything. They are the nutritious go-tos that have personal point value of, yep, zero points. Consider them staples that will help you set up for a healthy pattern of eating. What they want you to do is to take your zero point foods and then base the rest of your meal around that, um, which is very easy to do. It really is. If you have your fruits and vegetables and you throw in a protein, it should be filling enough. I find that my vegetables are way more filling than my fruits have been in the past. I've enjoyed my fruits because of the sugar kick I get from them. But uh, I'm finding that with my vegetables, they're staying with me longer and I'm not as hungry as uh, I was eating just the fruits. They also can help you reach your goal. You don't have to worry about tracking or measuring them or weighing them. Um, you pretty much know, you know, who's gonna eat like a whole, a whole is it a bunch? I was like, I always take one off and call it a stalk, but I know they call it a stalk of celery. But who's going to get the whole big stalk of celery and eat every one of those stalks? You're just not going to do it. Or if you get cauliflower and eat the whole cauliflower, no, you're not. I find it helps me get through my um, enjoy getting more vegetables in. Is I use dip. Uh, it's three points. The, all of the one I use is four points for two tablespoons. But then if the rest of my platter is all zero point foods, it's a four point lunch and it's a very filling lunch. And I think that the zero point foods lead you to losing more weight too. And it only stands to reason that they're good for you. <laughs> and, you know, they're not gonna make a candy bar zero points. 
candy bar every once in a while is something you like to kind of get your sugar intake or whatever. But uh, if it's going to lead you down a path of wanting more, then don't do it. But if you think you can handle like a little fun-sized little candy bar, like a little fun-sized packages of M&Ms or little Snickers or something like that, a Hershey Kiss I th on my plan is two points. So if you put a Hershey Kiss in your mouth, just kind of savor it. As long as you know it's not going to lead to another, then you're fine. But every once in a while, a little piece of chocolate can't hurt. <laughs> it really can't. And I like dark chocolate, which they say is good for your heart. Um, and like they say, you could eat 12 bananas, but are you really going to eat 12 bananas? I know that bananas are very high in sugar. I know that. But I have a banana a day, and it doesn't seem to affect my weight that much. Uh, I enjoy my banana. Um, I know it's high in calories, but it's it's like a treat for me, and so that's what I'm going to say. But if you find yourself hungry after eating one banana, then try to eat maybe an apple. You know, that might work. And also, um, like if you put like your vegetables and then you put your chicken or whatever protein that you've picked as your zero point, like I've picked chicken and fish, if you base your whole meal around that, you can get away with eating a lot of food for hardly any points. Uh, take the, excess, the uh, assessment on them. You can do it as many times as you want. You're only fooling yourself if you every day take the assessment and say like, well, today I want to have oatmeal as my zero point food, so I'm going to go in and do my reassessment and then I redo it. And so then it brings your points down and gives you oatmeal for the zero points. And then tomorrow you'll say, well, you know, I don't want oatmeal. I want refined grains. So then you go and you put it in again. You're, you're kind of defeating the purpose of the plan. Give it a whole week at least on one plan. And then just see, well, maybe, you know what? I didn't eat as much oatmeal as I thought I was going to eat. I'm going to switch it up this week. I've already had my way in. Let's see how it works for the next week. If you keep switching it around every day, you're not fooling anybody. You're, you can fool yourself. You can fool your app where you're tracking it, but you're definitely not going to fool your body because your body's keeping track. Whether you like it or not, whether you are or not, your body is. So if you do the assessment, just do it once a week. Also, I don't know that this is true, but I myself don't use the extra points that they've been given me. I go by what they give me as my weeklies, my standard weeklies. I get 28 standard weeklies. And then I am adding points by drinking my water and eating my vegetables. And like last week, I think I got up to like 65 weeklies, but I didn't use them because my thought was, why do I want to use them? That must mean I'm going to lose more weight. And in the past, it didn't help me to lose weight eating all more points. So I know that they did a scientific study on it, and I know that they say it works and that, but uh, I... Um, I'm I'm waiting to I'm waiting on that I'm I'm skeptical on that you know like I'm you know you got to prove to me I know it's it's kind of silly they did like two years of testing on it I understand but uh, I'm just watching a couple channels and some people are using those extra points that they're making for their fruits and vegetables and then they're disappointed when they don't have as big a loss or they don't have a loss my loss is strictly contributing to the fact that um, I had two great losses two weeks in a row. And I wasn't 100% on the plan like I have been the previous two weeks. I would say I was about 95% on the plan. But, you know, that other 5% was just enough to throw me off just a little bit. And like I said, I didn't eat as many vegetables this week. And I have learned from the previous two weeks that vegetables is the key for me to lose weight. But um, there's different, everybody's different, thing is different. But on some, uh, avocados are zero, beans and peas and lentils, brown rice, I never can say that word. Kiana, Kiana, Q U I N O I A. I know that Q is spelled differently, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, poultry, corn, popcorn, eggs, fish, fruits, non-starchy vegetables, oats and oatmeal, pasta, noodles, potatoes, tofu and cottage cheese and yogurt. You know, it depends on what you pick, and uh, you can get a complete list once you do your assessment. They'll, they'll show you what your complete list is. And because everybody's zero point foods are a little bit different, you're gonna to have to uh, check out your comparisons with the different things to see um, what the sandwich is. Like, like if you make a sandwich, if you use white bread, it's four points. But let's say if you use, um, like I use the Aunt Millie's, um, and I think there's a Dave's Smart Bread that's like less points too. But you, you can load up that sandwich with like tomatoes and your turkey breast 
and some uh, onions and pickles and lettuce. I mean, you can really stack that sandwich up and make it really delicious. And it's hardly any points. Uh, this week, they tell you that the Thanksgiving recipe is uh, for like a crunch thing to make the next day with a, uh, a wrap. I was looking at this on my plan, it's nine points for this sandwich. But when I was looking at it, they used a regular high fiber fiber tortilla wrap that was eight points. I like the extreme wellness wraps, it's one point. So there, I've knocked seven points right off of that. Um, then they say to put the stuffing in it, which is 15 points. I'll stick with that because I do like stuffing. <laughs> I don't use cranberry sauce, although I like dried cranberries, but I don't, I'm not a fan of cranberry sauce. That's 10 points. So right there, I've lost 17 points. I've taken 17 points off of this sandwich. And it's just like making a, a burrito is all, you know, like you make the taco, the, the burrito shell, and you put the stuff in the turkey and all that in it. But like the turkey breast is zero points. So um, I'll leave the recipe at the end in case you want to do it. Like I said, uh, I it makes four sandwiches. But uh, no, I think I'll just stick with my extreme wellness wrap. So anyway, uh, stayed the same. I'm still 228.8, but you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm still firmly in the 20s. That's my goal. My next goal is to get into the teens. When I get there, I get there. I don't have a set date. Just working my way there. Uh, another goal I'm gonna have this week is to eat a, a few more vegetables than I did last week. And just to enjoy Thanksgiving and remember it's Thanksgiving day, day, day. Thanksgiving Day, you gotta remember that. Uh, I do plan on having a slice of cake, not a hunk of cake, a slice of cake for dessert, because I'm not pumpkin pie, I don't like pumpkin, but ugh, no. But uh, I'm gonna have a slice of cake, I'm gonna have an, uh, a nice meal, and uh, just not go overboard. And tune in next week, see how I did, because that's my plan. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe and I will talk to you guys either on my daily vlog or I'll see you here back I'll see you back here next week.